Right. A few of us here have met Louise before. Uh, jo, you say you've met her. I met her at the Durban Cannabis Expo. Yes. Um, she's an absolute honey. I mean, she's just super adorable. She's a damn hard worker. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I was with you, I remember. You were, yeah, we sat yeah. on the couch there at the stand and had a lucky conversation. And she's just got this beautiful, mm -hmm. amazing, bright, boundless, energy. bubbly energy. And, mm -hmm. I, you know, she sat down and felt like family immediately. She's one of those people. So I'm really excited to chat mm -hmm. to her tonight because she's been busy. Yes. Dan, we also met her at, I remember Kriki had that event. Before the Cannabis Expo. Yes, yes, I remember mean, we went there. Was it called the yeah. Durban Canacon or something? Canacon. Canacon. That was it. We also met her there. So this chick's definitely been getting her around, making a lot of impressions and that. Uh, do we have her? Yeah. Uh, Louise, thank you very much for joining <laughs> us mute. tonight. She was mute. Uh, can you mute? Can you see me? Yes, we can see you. We want to see you mute. Smell that. You're on the table. Smell that. Oh my, that smells a bit. Yeah, go for it. We can see you and hear you. Welcome. <laughs> We're just busy smelling this weed. Give us a second because it's absolutely breathtaking. That's nice. That's uh, worth giving. Mm. So one at a time, and we'll keep rolling and coming around in our. Right. Luke, can you hear us? I can hear you. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, Louise, Wonderful. this last weekend, yes. you had, a, a, there were a, a series of gatherings around the country. Some were called a High Chai Ladies Tea something. Yours was called, wow, yes. Woman of Weed. That's right, Tell yes. us about it. All right, yes, um, yes. so the, the idea initially was birthed by Mary Jo. Um, she's uh, the 420 chef. She's also known online in that. And she just thought it would be a good idea for a few ladies across South Africa would get together on a Saturday and do something for women um, in the weed industry. You know, or, or not, not necessarily in the weed industry, but who were kind of curious, who had businesses and things like that. So anyway, um, yeah, they did the hot char tea. They did that Belito. I think there was one in Joburg and Cape Town. Um, I did something different. I went with Wow, Women of Weed. And mine was more aimed at literally focusing on women in who are trying to come up in the industry, um, whether they be users of cannabis or whether they have a little cannabis business. And then to invite ladies who were interested in cannabis and to show them a different side, you know, like that you can be a user, you can be functional, you can run a good business. And yeah, it, it really was, it was fantastic. I was blown away. That's amazing. How many speakers did you have at your event? Um, I think we had about eight. Wow. Um, and all the ladies were very, very new to speaking. Um, this was their first event they'd ever spoken at. Um, we had literally ladies were shaking. Of course. Shaking. We had to give them a couple of shots of CBD oil, <laughs> some other little goodies, you know, just to calm their nerves. But they were so keen because they also want to follow their little dreams. So... You know, they knew they had to do something different in order to make that happen. And I was so proud of them, so proud. Oh, that is so exciting. That's awesome. really yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah. Kind of pushing women to uh, step out the cannabis closet as well, you know? Absol absolutely. Like, step up. Stop yeah. Stop saying, oh, the guys this, the guys that. If you want something, do it. Don't wait for somebody else to come and do it for you. You know, be, be a woman, be a leader. If you want to be the best grower, then go and do what you got to do. Do the research. Become the best grower. If you want to, I don't know, be, do extracts. I mean, come on. There's ladies that are doing fantastic things in extracts, but they just stay a little bit in the shadows. So don't be afraid, you know. Just, hey, it's time to start. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. And was there anything unique that was spoken about or different <clears throat> from the usual? Yeah, what was fresh? You know, I'll be very honest, it was a very, even though we, we had 50 ladies, it was very personal and intimate because ladies shared stories on a very, very personal level. Um, and I think that is, I think that was quite unique. Um, and ladies felt so safe. I mean, the, they just felt so safe and so comfortable to be able to open up and share very intimate stuff. Um, and I think that is different. 
That is different. It is. We, we, we feel that we can open up more when it's just us girls yes. together. It, yeah. Yes. You know, it, the new nothing like against one. the Oaks. I mean, it's just that I think, like with anything, you know, sometimes it is nice just to hang with the girls and you can share your dreams and you can have your little moan and you can let your hair down. And, you know, sometimes it leads to tears and you don't want everybody just to see you crying, but your girlfriends are all right, you know. Um, but, yeah, there'll definitely be stuff for the guys as well because, yeah, they were... They were keen as well. We had oh, oaks that were planning to come all dressed up in drag. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. What functions are you, are you yeah. planning anything else for future? Um, well, I'm doing a follow-up session with my ladies because it's always, I love feedback from people because um, it's always good to know where you can improve. So we're going to definitely be having something in about two weeks. And then I do know that there is something planned for support September, we're looking at September, but across KZN. Um, but as the details unfold, then I'll definitely share on all the platforms. So, yeah, That's just amazing. keep your peepers open in the in the cannabis groups. That's amazing. I'm loving watching how um, vibrant KZN has become. Yeah. When I first joined Green back in 2014, um, I travelled down to uh, Bobby was hosting something in a park, like a get together in the mm. park. And it yes. was like not many people that came, and it was like yeah, Jules used to say, "Oh, but Durban just—they don't yeah. pull up, you know. They've gone to the beach, they don't or finish. they're sitting in the aircon. It's like, <laughs> but Durban, yeah, yeah. KZN, we love you guys. To thank you for like, digging deep and, and and pulling through. It's amazing. Well, absolutely. To see. Yeah, and you know the thing is, if you want to do it, that's what I say to the people. Don't wait for anybody else. <laughs> Do it. Just choose to do it. Reach out to people. You can reach out to me. I can even say to the ladies, if you have a crazy, crazy idea, you know, just reach out. We've we've got places that are safe that we can gather, little clubs. You know, I belong to like a little club that is unique and safe. Um, I don't know. Can I give them a little shout out? Would I be allowed to? Anyone you, I think this is the part of the show where you shout out any Facebook pages, clubs, anywhere where people okay. can find out more. Links. Go for it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Link us. Well, yeah, so if you want to, if you actually want to follow more, you must follow me, The Green Hobbit. Um, Instagram's always a good one. My little club that I hang out is at Rooftop 420. They were so cool on the day. They opened the house up to me and they will open up the house to anybody. You just got to ask. Of course. Um, so there are people that are willing to work with us in the industry. You just got to reach out. So don't be shy, man. Reach out. Um, and then all my ladies on the day. All my ladies on the day. Yeah, I, I mean, there's too many to mention, but follow me. You'll find out who they are. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what more else I can say, but just thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. And know that cannabis can help South Africa. <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank you. Uh, Louise, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, could you maybe answer our poll question? Do you think weed is being Please. colonized? Um, colonized is in internationals coming in, changing the vibe, taking our business. <laughs> yeah, it's pulling the fun ribbon. Um, yeah, look, I mean, I think it is. I do think it is a big percentage of it. That's why we've got to create what we want in South Africa for South Africans, you know? So that's why people need to start stepping up more and saying, look, let's keep, I really do believe we've got to keep it in-house. Yeah. Um, I don't like that it's getting, like stuff is getting exported to be re-imported and all that other nonsense. Well, it's I know sometimes we've got to go that route. But, you know, we've got to keep it in-house. We've got to make it local, support your, your guys locally in your, your provinces, you know. Um, yes, and, and support the small businesses because that's how, that's how cannabis is going to help South Africa. Not these huge companies coming in and taking up huge chunks of the economy away from everybody. Yeah. You know, because there's so much power. There's it so is. much power. There is. We all can yeah. get in that pie. Super size quite power. <laughs> <laughs> Unleash the power. Uh, yeah, Lou, Lou, thank you very much for joining us. I hope you have an iry evening and please uh, stay lit. Eh? I will, I will. Thank you guys. Be awesome. Be blessed. Be well. Love thank you, you Cheers. Cheers. Love Bye. you guys. Cha cha. Bye. Oh man. I'm, cool. just, I'm so proud of KZN. They really have just gone from like 
they're but coming you, in in the back and they're like taking over in the lead. But they definitely seem like in the, even in the news <coughs> or in, in any kind of legal front, they seem to be the one that's pushing hard for the yeah. cast down there. They are pushing they hard. Are, they are pushing hard. The pushing last couple of years they have really <coughs> come up and it's so beautiful mm. to Along see. With East even Tadeka struck gold. There we go. KZ, yeah. Brad, they've been poisoned. <laughs> they're poisoned. Um, um, gold until it was found to be fools. Pyrite. <laughs> Pyrite. 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 Should we do some more shout outs? I see a lot of oaks on the chat there. Russ is in. Oh, smoke machine. Oh, so, 